The aerobic energy system works by supplying oxygen to the muscles. This is the most complex of the three energy systems and requires the heart, lungs and whole circulatory system to work. After about 30 seconds of intense physical activity, the aerobic energy system becomes the main source of energy. It is at this point that large quantities of oxygen carried by the blood becomes available to the muscles. The presence of available oxygen to the muscles allows a process known as aerobic glycolysis to take place. This process uses the large stores of glycogen in the body, which is synthesized into ATP. Water and carbon dioxide are byproducts, which the muscle cells expel via the blood. This expulsion of the waste products prevents muscles from becoming fatigued in a short period of time. With the heart and lungs working harder to move greater volumes of oxygenated blood around the body, aerobic energy allows the muscles to keep on working and working. As well as using glycogen as the basis for ATP synthesis, the aerobic energy system can also use the body's fat. However, this requires large amounts of oxygen, so for moderate to intense physical activity, glycogen is the preferred source of ATP. But after about two hours of continuous aerobic activity, glycogen is all used up and fat takes over as the source of ATP synthesis. Marathon runners say they can detect when this occurs in the body and refer to reaching that point as hitting the wall. Because greater amounts of oxygen are used in breaking down fat, less is available to working muscles and athletes must rest or slow down. In extreme events, such as famine, body fat can also become totally used up and protein then becomes the source of ATP synthesis. The aerobic energy system requires heart, lungs and circulatory system to provide oxygen to muscles. Aerobic glycolysis synthesizes ATP from glycogen. Water and CO2 are byproducts which leave the cells via blood flow. The aerobic system becomes the dominant energy source after about 30 seconds of intense activity and can sustain around two hours of continuous aerobic activity. After this point, fat becomes the main source of ATP synthesis.